to show the process of scanning a full upper and lower denture. This particular denture is pretty shiny on the palate, which is, which is typical, and the intaglio is a little bit rough. The shiny part of the palate has always been a challenge, but we're going to show the process of scanning first the upper, then we'll scan the lower, and then we'll scan the bite using the TRIO scanner. The first step is to set up the patient, and we recommend using scan only. There may be other, other processes out there, uh, and, if, and if you find that setting the patient up in a different way is uh, fine, you know, using removables or something else, but we just click uh, scan only, and then the wizard pops up, and then we click go to the scan page, and in this case, we're going to scan the upper first, and we're going to show a little bit of scanning the denture physically with the scanner, but mostly we're going to uh, just show the digital process as you watch the screen for the pattern of scanning. In this video, we're going to show a little different, different technique of scanning. Most of the time you'll hear or see in literature that you scan the teeth first, kind of like crown and bridge, and then you roll over to the intaglio. But the scanner, myself, I have tried that many times with different scanners over the years and have uh, come up short. Uh, I always have a tough time rolling over to the intaglio. So instead, we have tried this technique a few times and it uh, seems to always work and that's scan the intaglio first and not 100 percent sure why uh, it works this way but uh, i think part of it is it can get a good registration by scanning on the intaglio due to the rough surface it's just rougher it's not uh, highly polished like the palatal side so you can see how quickly this scan went and we're going to just get some little details of the borders here and that way uh, if the borders are defined and the scan was very clear and registered what I mean to say is that often when you scan a denture the left and right side of the denture do not uh, register and you get a little bit of a break uh, in between and you'll always notice that on the distal palatal and that's a failure don't send that to the laboratory because then we would really have to fudge something that's not going to fit you'd end up doing a reline so identify the borders uh, you can go 360 degrees around the border if you'd like or in this case uh, just the periphery there not the not the palatal seal and then come around and scan the labial flange now occasionally you'll scan part of your thumb or a finger uh, the blue glove whatever color and that's okay uh, the scanner will eliminate that but notice here now we're going back to a regular crown and bridge type scan and it was very simple to flip over to this side of the denture so we're gonna go I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here and we'll be back in in a minute with the voice This particular denture has some radiopaque markers on the tongue side, but the area where the markers are, it's, it's always simple to, to scan that part. It's always the shiny palette that's a problem. So now we've finished the scan, and normally the, the palatal part is the most challenging, the shiny part, and you can see it did pick it up, and I think part of that is because it was the the um, intaglio side that was scanned so well. So now we're going to flip over to scanning the mandibular denture and with the lower uh, just found that the, the the ability to scan the teeth first works. Now this particular denture is not uh, terribly highly polished. It's a little bit rough. This is a printed denture and it was not finished. If you find that you cannot scan the lower uh, uh, left to right and then flip over you can scan the intaglio first in the same process as the upper uh, but without the shiny palette the, the lower seems to um, seems to be able to be acquired better than the upper
it's critical that you don't leave any holes, in other words, uh, blue spots. And also notice that when we're scanning the intaglio that you're scanning the buccal flange, but then you're also capturing the lingual while you're scanning the buccal flange. Let me show that again real quick in a repeat. Notice that as you're scanning the facial, you're also scanning the lingual flange of the intaglio, capturing both at the same time. And we'll just speed up this part so you can follow along and see just the pattern of the scanning. It's about 300 times the speed. Okay, the lower is now finished and notice that, uh, that it's a very clean scan, no holes. Just be sure that there's no holes, no blue colors, or I don't know how you have your settings, but no colors, because otherwise we have to fix those in a third-party software, and that can lead to inaccuracy. And then finally, bring the two dentures together and scan the bite. I found that scanning bites on dentures is very quick. All right, so that was very quick. And I always scan a little bit of extra just in case it doesn't come over together, we can uh, manually put the upper and lower together using a larger bite. Small bites are kind of tricky. Okay, now the upper and lower are scanned together in a bite. And if you send us this, we can make you a brand new denture. If you performed a reline impression, uh, scan that. Um, instead of this, scan the reline impression. We can send you a brand new denture that fits wonderfully. So this is digital impressions of full dentures.